Welcome to Comments Below. I'm Poet. Who are you? David Vianney. This is the show where you leave your comments below, but this is Friday's edition, so it's got a bit of a twist. Um, we're going to have that epic moment in show that we kind of call Worst Comment of the Week. In opposed to Best Comment of the Week. Um, today's show, we have Challenge Time. Challenge Time. I'm doing pretty well now. Um, then we move on to the prestigious Copper 90 Awards of the Year. I know you've all been waiting for that. But before all that, we have some extremely great news. Fantastic development in the world of... Budge up! Budge! 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 Ah, budge! Ah, you scratched me, man. So uh, we have had developments in the world of Badge Up. Yeah, we have. Um, football Brain 3 has said, Poet, let's see your on retat. Hashtag Badge Up! Um, Cryptus G has said, Poet, stop bullshotting. Just get a fucking tattoo. Well, what's happened? I said if I did not have the tattoo, what were you going to do to me? Well, um, as promised, I was meant to cut off some of your plaits. Now everybody at home is probably thinking, what's he going to do with that saw? Is it going to be saw 7 or saw 6 or saw 5.5? Or is he gonna cut off one of the plaits? I'm here to tell you no. As I unbutton this part of my shirt and I reveal the cling film. Understand what this means to me. When I look at this, I see the unbeaten season. When I look at this, I see an individual that transformed English football as you know it. When I look at this, I see an individual called Walcott who's a rubbish version of what this man is. Thierry, this is not just for you. This is not just for your daughter. This is for every single individual that goes to the carpet and watches a team called Arsenal. You're probably thinking to yourself, did I wake up with this? No. This is what happened on my epic journey to get my tattoo. This is Sammy. This is oh, me. Just getting, just drawing the sketch for the on tap. You know, no. it's time to badge up. Everybody wanna be famous. Yeah. My man's got the Arsenal sign right there, and we all know who wore 14, don't we? That was me getting my level two. Please come back next week and find out what level three is. Until then, I love you all, by the grace of God. Well, now it's time for challenge time. All right, the Graham, 1985. I believe Graham. he was probably born then. Challenge time. How many grapes can you fit in your mouth without crushing them? Well, let's get some grapes. Now, <laughs> ignore the saliva, <laughs> but you can see every grape here has not been damaged. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> they were all in your mouth. They were. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How the fuck did you fit <laughs> ten grapes in your mouth? Techers. Well, uh, last week was 4 2. Uh, that was a convincing victory by me, so 5 2 to me. How did you fit ten grapes in your mouth? Technique, I thought of it first and then. <laughs> it's like 4 4 2. We are now on to something a little bit more nice. It is the prestigious Copper 90 Awards of the Year. Of the Year, people. Of the Year. Of the year. We could start with Lou Trot, yeah. who has put. Worst performance of the season. I think there's been some terrible this is performances. Definite. But I feel this one is is definitely Amazing. the award for Amazing worst bad. performance of the season. It goes to Jonathan Walters. Well done, John. Uh, a game in which he played against Chelsea. So not only did uh, he miss a penalty and score two fantastic on goals. David, what else did he manage? Oh, John. 
Oh, you managed to only kick the ball against your own face. Now, if there's been a performance worse than that, I'm yet to see it. Can we have a round of applause for John? Well done, son. Tell your kids about it. No one will ever patch up with you, John. No one. No one. Unless You'll never be on me. Unless someone's trolling. That brings us onto the next award. This is uh, dedicated to base fucker of the year. The most right? prestigious copper 90 award of the year. Yeah, I kind of feel like it's the whole more significant. And there's there. so many uh, nominations. You've got the likes of uh, David Luiz. Hey, Luiz. Luis Suarez. Luis Suarez. Edin Hazard. Paolo Di Canio. Joey Barton. Joey Barton. Joey. Joey. You know what? I th think Joey was so used to his base fucking that, that we can't. You know, it'll, be, it'll be too easy to give him the award. Yeah, and you'll feel like he only base fucks in one, you know, one particular area, Twitter. I need someone that can give an element of surprise. Between the three guys, I believe it will have to be Luis, Suarez, and Eden Hazard. Yeah. Now, the three main things that happened was Eden Hazard kicked the ball boy. Kicked the little kid. That has never happened before. It was fantastic. I loved it. Kicked the little kid. Then we have Luis Suarez. Ugh. Well, for the Where second time start? in his career, he wanted to eat a Serbian. So. <laughs> There's, there's another one here. And then the last one is David Luiz, who smiled after getting... And it, I don't know, man. What? Who, who well, would you go for? Uh, I'm going to go with Mr. Chelsea Dan's suggestion. And it is the one and the only base fucker of the year. David Luiz! Oh. By unanimous decision. We, we love, love you, David. David. We love you. And you're the best Premier League player. All right. Uh, we're on to the final award of the evening. We talked into Days. the night. You know, it was loads of arguments, blood, sweat, tears to give out these awards. Oh. It's serious. I mean, look, I haven't washed for like a week. Look, look at that. Look. Stains on his top. Anyway. He, Liam Vlogs. Liam Vlogs. I'll tell you what. He's only gone and pulled it out the bag. Out the bag. He's saying football stars that look like animals. And this award is quite difficult. Um, Andy Gray was speaking about it this morning on the radio. So it lets me know that it's something that everyone identifies yeah, I mean, it was on CNN, as something important. Uh, CNN, Fox News, Fox BBC News. was covering it. In third place, the man who looks like an owl. England's gaffer, Roy Hodgson. Give him a big oh, round of applause. He's beautiful, man. In second place, the man that looks like a monkey. Gareth Bale. Oh, Gareth. I tell you what. <laughs> the winner. He looks like an ostrich. It's Mark Swartz, I mean, oh, come on. Mark. I mean, if you're going to get an award for something, let it be this. So, uh, that was the... Prestigious Copper 90 Awards of the Year. Also, if you have any awards that you feel that we've missed out upon, please leave comments. Let us know. And you know, for next year, they might make it. Yeah? Yeah. I agree. Quick fire up! Wednesday's quickfire round was absolutely awful. Um, we only hit... Uh, 16, 17. It's not even worth 16. mentioning, if I'm mm, totally Let's not even talk about it. It's yeah. one of those things that we that should not be named. Got a ceremony and... Three, two, one! Would you prefer Luis Suarez to bite you or Hazard to kick you? Suarez kick, to bite kick, you. Kick, kick, kick. Describe football in one word. Sex! Amazing! Ozil Ogotza. Gotza. Gotza. Why has David started dressing as a 1980s tennis player? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of Mancini being sacked with an apparent 28 million payoff? Smart man. Ching -ching. Would you rather get injured while scoring one of the greatest goals ever, but not play another game, or miss the goal, not get injured, play as long as you retire, but never achieve great fame? The latter. That's fucking amazing. Do you think Gareth Bale will replace rankings at Manchester United when Giggs retires? 100%. Probably. If a man retire, if a man tells you he's a liar, is he lying? I don't know. He's honest. What do you think about Super Mario finally joining Twitter? Five Go on, Mario. Village or Mertzsacker? Village. If YouTube changes the layout of YouTube without the comments above or the sides, we change the name of the show. Great Ooh. one. Can Liverpool hit top four next year? And how no. will Man U do? Yes, Man third. U, third. Point, would you rather Ashley Williams or Thomas Vermaelen? Vermaelen. Vermaelen. Will Terry go turkey? Nee. Chicken. Louis of Dents, for which to come Newcastle? Uh, <laughs> David. Uh, Jokayev. What did sushi A say to sushi B? What's up B? Can turn out the dad. Shut up. Mm. Shut up. Shut up. It's pathetic. Another pathetic performance. You know what it is, man? It's pathetic. Fatigue. It's pathetic. No, it's, it's no, it's fatigue. Perfect. Look, it's been a long season. Like it footballers, like footballers, it we get tired. Perfect. We we go for you know we can't. It's it's the end. Like it's ending, oh. and we're tired, man. We've equaled Wednesdays, which was what sixteen. Yeah, we've equaled it. 
and you're smiling. Yeah. You get as bad as Arsenal fans. That's <laughs> not good enough at all. Next comment. It's, um, it's from Daniel. Is Squerdo. Who has said, Are you guys going to continue the show in the summer when the season is over? The Green Bear 1723 he said, Do Poet and David do comments below during the summer even though there is no matches being played? Well, there's a lot of matches being played, uh, I'll have you know. Um, we have various leagues around the world where yeah. football is going on. And you leave us comments about these leagues, which we might not know a lot about. But, but we can, can educate us. ourselves, you know? you know. I heard there's international friendlies as well as qualifiers friendlies. happening. There's the Confederations Cup coming up in June as well. Very, very soon. That should be yeah. quite exciting. The We're sending someone there Yeah, well. the beauty of it, the English season's over, but there's still football being played all around the football world. Football never stops. Ever. We've got transfers that we can give you. Oh my God, this person just signed. Oh my God, Ronaldo oh, and Neymar have gone Arsenal. Like, loads of things can potentially happen. But there's even one more bit of news that oh, I find. And a little bit more pleasant to tell everyone that watches. About. David, where are we going? Well, you know how like you have like KSI and he goes to all these European destinations yeah. and his road to Wembley. And you have the Euro fan and he goes all over Europe. Even FIFA player, the delinquent himself, has gone to America. You know, he's gone, to, he's gone to Scandinavia or wherever he's gone. We've been in the studio. Yeah. However! Ow. Oh, I'm sorry, man. However, we are leaving the country. No, we're not going to Scotland. No, we're not going to Ireland. Although that technically would be leaving the country. We are going to America! I'm going there! I'm going there! We are 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 going to the CONCACAF. CONCACAF even. Gold Cup. Looking at teams such as Mexico, Cuba, the United States, Canada. Might see Drake and Justin Bieber. Honduras. Understand that we're gonna have an experience like no other. Yeah. I understand you've seen KSI go abroad, Eurofan go abroad, all these other people go abroad, but it will be nothing like when me and David go abroad. In fact, I want you to send some suggestions of what you would like us to do in America. And maybe you should send some suggestions on who we should try and look for. Maybe there's some YouTube stars that we could potentially go and do America. material with. Who should we go and find abroad? We're still going to do comments below. So don't ever think to yourself, oh my it's God, they're be in America, from America. Yeah, so it's all do your, you know, two. Two comments below. It doesn't stop. It yeah. carries on, but just it's going to be in America. And then we're going to do a bag of other, sorry, pardon my French, shit as well. <laughs> so we start in July. We shall be in America. I want you to follow us every step of the way epic journey now for the millions and millions of copper 90 fans this is the epic moment in the show only described on friday as worst comment of the week and this week we continue <laughs> our quite peculiar segment only described as Inappropriate political comment of the week. I actually really do like being um, kept up to date with all these crazy political <laughs> events. Um, <laughs> talking of crazy, Crazy Koenig 93 has said <laughs> that the mayor of Toronto in Canada has been caught smoking crack on camera <laughs> with gang members. Now, I mean, we have a crazy mayor. I mean, <laughs> Boris is insane, you know. He invented, you know, these Boris bikes and he's got all that fluffy hair and <laughs> it's kind of humorous. <laughs> but smoking crack with gang members on camera. Allegedly, Xadil X 4HM 3D has said, the Bangladesh Awami League is corruption. They too much pricks. <laughs> <laughs> well, no idea what that means. Thank you. Thanks so Keep much. Leaving your politically inappropriate comments, <laughs> which totally don't belong on this football show. Football politics. Hmm, doesn't really go, does it? Make sure you keep commenting, subscribing oh, to the videos, you know what? and what? I I'm a sofa. Look. I want to be a sofa for the ending. Thank you for watching. This is a bit worrying what I'm doing. But David's pretending to be a sofa. Goodbye. Bye, guys. See Bye you next week. Geordies. Bye. Geordies. See you Woo! Woo! I'm a sofa. Woo! Oh, stop. Oh. <laughs> She has got a fucking Jordi up.
David has died. I'm really camera. taking this sofa thing seriously. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> Like, I'm genuinely trying to be a sofa. Oh, sorry. Go on. Let me be a sofa in peace. Cool. Thank you. She has got a fucking Geordie accent.